Hello YouTube and welcome back to our, my tutorials, welcome to our 86 Unity 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial what we're going to do is going to be pretty much another copy of the t last tutorial, we're just going to do another death animation, because like I said we're going to randomise between death animations. If we randomise between ragdoll and one death animation it's not going to be very good. Um, yeah, so um, it's going to be a quick one, we're just going to do a... I don't know, but we will find a way to do it. But first I'm going to grab Death Test 2 and just remove the animation component. So click it and remove, because then we can start fresh. So, animation. After this I'm thinking we'll go and attempt ragdoll effects. Hopefully that'll be cool. So yeah, so we'll just quickly start off. So, add component, create a new animation, and we'll call it Death 2. Zoom out and I'll make this one slightly quicker, so maybe a second. I'm thinking he falls to his knees on this one, because that's, that's just a classic one. So all I'm going to do is grab him, kind of. So, yeah, we'll go record, move him a tiny little bit, and at one second he will go. His ending will be there, because I thought it was front. So we'll go knees, face, simple as that. So let's begin rotating it, so when he gets to his knees here, well he'll rotate a little bit backwards as he falls, so we never put a first keyframe in. You always gotta make sure you put your first keyframe in it or else it won't look weird. So he'll fall back a little as he goes to his knees, then he'll land on his knees and hit forward, but then he'll aim forward from his knees and then finally he will be face flat like so so that's our basics of it so far bish, 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 bish. and this one probably would have been better as a two second one but hey it works so we've got that now we need to work on his knees just to bend his knees pretty much so start off with a little rotation then to there halfway through his knees need to be completely bent like so and if he's not touching the floor he needs to be so we need to pull him down in a minute but it'll do for now so he goes crack and then finally his legs go down crack we just position his feet like that so that one seems to be right now we have to pretty much copy the exact same procedure for the other side so we'll rotate it a little bit to create a keyframe, go to 30 seconds, about there, and then finally he goes down. So it's going better. Boosh, 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 boom. So it's a bit fast, but it is good ish. So we need to alter his body again. So roughly about this one here, we need to grab his position and bring him down like that. So, boom, boom. But there, he needs to be brought up on this one. So click the parent, well, world axis. Boom, boom. Perfect. But obviously, we need to do something with his arms because at the moment he just falls down. I mean, we are getting better at animation, all it is is practice, 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 but if you ever work in a big games company, odds are you'll be using motion capture, not doing it manually. So, but it's always a good technique to know for in, in the, um, low budget games. So, let's work on his arms quickly before the tutorial goes. And, sp oh, we were already in the right place. Spine, spine, spine. There we are, there are two arms. Start with the right arm just because we can see it. Whoop. So, from there, we'll start a little one and they'll fall down. And halfway through, I'll just make his arms rotate back. So, okay, that's terrible. Uh, what should we do with his arms? So, about there, we'll make it come out a little bit. even worse but I 
Okay, he doesn't want to rotate like that. Maybe we stick his arms out. Hmm. I'm just going to leave his arms blank because that just works. So, he dies peacefully, hopefully. So, what we've called it is it assigned? Death animation 2. So, in our script here, all we're going to type is here if um, this dot game object dot animation dot play that does not equal null so basically hopefully I don't know this is testing but if it finds it then it should play it any issues nope so we can duplicate this else if it finds death animation 2 play death animation 2 this isn't our permanent code this is just to alternate between the two because we've got the same script attached to multiple ones if we kill one with one animation the other one should now die with the other animation except he's got to play automatically because he's always different but yeah so let's play so original one which is I believe him so he dies and this one the animation death one the animation state death one could not play because it was not found so that clearly shows that that one doesn't work. Hmm. We'll just play it as this one for now, but we will have to randomize it when we get the rate. Um. Oh, I forgot the name of it. I can't remember the name. I'm sorry, but the thing where he falls and stuff. So he dies, and if we shoot him, it won't work. See. But yeah, so that's that. Next time we'll be doing the bone thing. I can't remember the name of it. It's completely gone. Is it here? Ragdoll. That's it. We'll be doing ragdoll effects. So it's really easy to do. It won't take us long. Um, probably actually easier than animating it. But yeah. Then we'll make it randomised between the three. So death one, death two, death three. So really, really easy. Thank you for watching. Please join my Facebook group to get daily updates and post suggestions. And see you next time.